welcome viewers. I'm Michelle Froh, Senior Editor of Wind Power Engineering and Development Magazine. Thanks for watching. We are at OEA's Offshore Wind uh, Conference in New York this week, and we have Lauren Durham, who is the Head of Public Affairs with Ersted, which you may know of as uh, Dong Energy. Lauren, thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. So first you'll have to explain uh, the name change for us. Uh, where did that stem from? Sure. So as you mentioned, we used to be known as Dong Energy, which uh, at one point stood for Danish Oil Natural Gas. Right. Um, over the last few years, we've started to sort of change our, the company and most recently announced that we've divested all of our oil and gas assets. So the name no longer reflected what the company was about, so we decided to change our name to Ersted. I'm not Danish, but I, that's the, <laughs> the best pronunciation I have. However, it can also be known as just Orsted um, here in the U.S. So new logo, new branding. Um, it's very exciting. We, we basically want to be a, a company that runs entirely on green energy. We want folks to love their home. That's all part of our new branding. Um, the name came from a Danish scientist called Hans Christian Ersted. Um, and I like to compare him to being the Thomas Edison of Denmark. Um, the Danes will say it the other way that Hans Christian Orsted was the Thomas Edison of their place. So it's interesting. But um, yeah, so we're very excited about the name change. We're here here at the WIA conference where we've been unveiling everything. And we've gotten a really great reception so far. Well, that is great uh, clean energy news. Uh, so what is new with Ersted then? And how is it... Um, supporting the U.S. Uh, offshore wind market? Sure. So we entered the U.S. market about two years ago um, with our project in Massachusetts known as Bay State Wind, which is a joint venture with a New England utility called Eversource. So we are uh, right in the middle of all of our permitting. Uh, we're also preparing a bid, which is due in December for the state of Massachusetts. Uh, hopefully we will prevail the winner, which would be great, and we can start building uh, the first utility scale offshore wind farm in the country. Um, in addition to that, we also have our project in New Jersey called Ocean Wind, um, and that is off the coast of Atlantic City. Our Massachusetts one is off the coast of the Vineyard. Um, early development stages there, but we're very much looking forward to the next few months where we things will really pick up. And then, our, lastly, we have our project in Virginia with um, our partner Dominion. It's a small two turbine uh, demo project, but again, very excited because we hope to have steel in the water um, in about two and a half years or so. So. That's excellent. Thank yes. you. Yes. Well, a lot to look forward to in uh, the U.S. for the offshore wind market. Um, if people want to learn more, where can they go, Lauren? So you can go to Ersted.com. Uh, you can also still go to DongEnergy.com for a few more weeks. And then Bay State Wind or Ocean Wind, both .coms, have information on our projects. And in addition, we're very active on social media. So you could follow us on uh, at Bay State Wind, Ocean Wind, Orsted, uh, or Dong Energy North America. Excellent. Thank yes. you so much. No Thanks for watching, viewers. I'm Michelle Froze with Wind Power Engineering and Development Magazine.